According to the Constitution of the Philippines, we have three main branches of the Philippine government. Mainly we have the executive branch, the legislative branch, and the judiciary branch of the Philippine government. So now let's focus on the legislative branch of the Philippine government. So what is legislated branch? Legislated branch is the making of laws. The bicameral form of legislature in the Philippines. First we have the Senate. The Senate is composed of 24 senators half of which are elected every three years. Each senator, therefore, serves a total of six years. The senators are elected by the whole electorate and do not represent any geographical district. Senators The term of senators in the office is just six years. Qualifications of being a senator, an adult-born citizen of the Philippines, at least 35 years old, able to read and write, a Philippine resident, not less than two years from the day of the election, and the last is you must a registered voter. Next we have, the House of the Representatives. The House of the Representatives, is the lower chamber of the Congress, composed of almost 240 congressmen. There are two types of congressmen, one, the district representative, two, the sectoral representative. Congressman The congressman term of office is only three years, the max of three consecutive terms. Qualifications A natural-born Filipino citizen, at least 25 years old, able to read and write, registered voter in his district, and the last is he or she must resident of the district at least a year. Article 5, Section 5 of the 1987 Constitution. In this article, it provides that out of the total number of members, 20% shall come from parta list representatives, one half of which shall be filled by sectoral representatives, for the first three terms of Congress according from the 1987 to 1998. Powers of Congress there are nine powers of Congress, we have General Legislative Power This power of Congress consists of laws intended to serve as rule of conduct in governing relations between individuals or between individuals and the state. Examples of those laws are civil laws, commercial laws, criminal laws, and political laws. Implied Powers these powers are essential to the effective exercise of other powers granted by the Constitution to Congress. The power to conduct inquiry in aid of legislation, through its Blue Ribbon Committee, is within the ambit of the implied power of Congress. Inherent Powers These are the powers, which though not expressly given, are nonetheless exercised by the Congress, as they are necessary for, its existence such as, to determine the rules of proceedings, to compel attendance of absent members to obtain quorum to do business, and, to keep journal of its proceedings. Specific Legislative Powers These powers have reference, to those which the fundamental law expressly, and specifically directs to perform or execute. Powers enjoyed by Congress, under this category are the following, power to appropriate through the passage of the General Appropriation Act power to act as constituent assembly or introduce amendments to the fundamental law by vote of three-fourths of all its members, power to impeach, to be initiated by the House of Representatives, power to confirm treaties by two-thirds vote of all senators, power to declare the existence of war by two-thirds vote from both houses in joint session voting separately, power to concur amnesty, and, power to act as board of canvasser for presidential, vice-presidential votes. Executive Power 
power of Congress that are executive in nature are the following, appointment of its officers, affirming treaties by two-thirds vote of the members of Senate, confirming presidential appointees through the Commission on Appointments, and, removal power. Supervisory power. Congress exercises considerable control, and supervision over the administrative branch. Notable among these are the following, to decide the creation of a department-slash-agency-slash-office, to define powers and duties of officers, to appropriate funds for governmental operations, and, to prescribe rules and procedure to be followed. Electoral Power the following are considered electoral power of Congress, elect its presiding officer, S and other officers of the House, act as board of canvassers for the canvass of presidential, vice presidential votes, and, elect the president in case of any electoral title to said post. Judicial Power This power of Congress, enables it to pass judgment, upon certain parties, courses of action. Covered under this category are the following to expel and suspended serving members, to initiate contempt proceeding into Congress, to concur and approve amnesty declared by the President of the Philippines, to initiate, prosecute and thereafter decide cases of impeachment, and, to decide electoral protests of its member through the respective electoral tribunal. Miscellaneous Powers These are the other power mandated by the Constitution to Congress. Among these powers are the following, to authorize the Commission on Audit to audit fund and property, to authorize the President of the Philippines to fix tariffs rates, quotas, and dues, to authorize the President of the Philippines to formulate rules and regulations in times of emergency, to reapportion legislative district based on established constitutional standards, to implement laws on autonomy, to establish a National Language Commission, to implement free public secondary education, to allow small-scale utilization of natural resources, to specify the limits of forest lands and national parks, to determine the ownerships and extent of ancestral domain, and, to establish independent economic and planning agency. So how a bill becomes a law. It will become a law it is by, lawmakers file bills on issue areas of their concern, although bills and international agreements and treaties are traditionally initiated by the Senate. Nonetheless, bills on appropriations and those authorizing increase in public debts originate from the House of Representatives.